This video presents assembly programming of TM1637 module. The TM1637 is a four-digit, seven-segment clock display, which is mainly used in digital clock applications. The module uses IC TM1637, which is an LED switch driver that is interfaced serially with a microcontroller. The module is designed as a clock display with four-digit seven-segment units. The display can have eight brightness levels, and the module is interfaced with a microcontroller using a two-wire serial interface having a clock line and a data line. TM1637 is programmed by serially sending command bytes. The first byte we send is the display brightness command and the value is 8F, which will turn on the display and put it into maximum brightness. We can have uh, 8 level of brightness, so hexadecimal 88 is the minimum, and 8F is the maximum. To write to the display, we need to program the TM1637 in single address mode by sending this hexabyte 44. Afterwards, we will send an 8-bit value which is the address of one of the four digits here and the address is an 8-bit value with the most significant nibble capital C and the least significant nibble has a value of either 0, 1, 2 or 3 so the address of this digit is C0 and the address of this digit is C3 after sending the address of the digit next we send the byte to be displayed on the digit. We could also program the TM1637 in address auto increment mode by sending hexadecimal 40, which will allow us to send multiple data bytes to the display. So we begin by just sending the start address, let's say, of the first digit C0, and then we can send four bytes to be displayed on the four digits of the module. This table summarizes the seven segment characters that can be displayed on the seven segment digits. We have numerals from 0 to 9 and the corresponding hexadecimal values and we have uh, letters and the corresponding hexadecimal values. This is the timing diagram for sending a byte serially to the TM1637. Over the clock line, we need 9 clock pulses, 8 for sending the byte of data, and the ninth to receive the acknowledgement pulse from the TM1637. To send a byte over the DIO line, first we need to send the start condition, and then we send the byte. We wait for the acknowledgement from the TM1637. And then we send the end condition. The start condition is achieved by pulling the data line low as the clock is high. And then we pull the clock low. And the assembly code is shown here. We pull the data line low. We apply a short delay in microseconds. And then we pull the clock line low and then we apply a delay in microseconds. After the start condition is initiated, the microcontroller will then serially send the byte over the bus. Least significant bit is shifted out first. And after eight clock pulses, the microcontroller will release the bus so that the TM1637 can send the acknowledgement pulse. After sending the pulse, the microcontroller will then regain the bus again and then send the end condition. And the end condition is initiated by pulling the clock high and then we pull the uh, data line high. This diagram shows you how to shift out a byte serially least significant bit first. First we need to store the byte in a register. Then we apply rotation write through carry where the least significant bit will be shifted into the carry flag. So this is the first shift. D0 is in the carry flag. Now we can shift it out uh, via the DIO line. 
on the next shift we have D1 we shift it out we continue with this eight times until we shift out all of the bits through the DIO line this is the assembly code rotation right of register R17 so now the least significant bit is in the carry flag this instruction will check the status or the value of that uh, bit by using branch if carry flag is set so if the, this instruction is true then the least significant bit is a logic one we jump to this label and we output logic one otherwise if this is false it means the least significant bit is zero so we ignore this instruction we come to the next instruction and we output a logic zero we have here the TM1637 interfaced with the Arduino where the clock line is connected to pin PD2 and the DIO line is connected to pin BD3 of the microcontroller a look at the assembly code First, we need to initialize the TM1637 by sending the byte 8F, which will uh, turn on the device and put the display on maximum uh, brightness. And we could have 8 level of brightness by sending bytes 88 to 8F. A byte is sent to the TM1637 over the serial bus by executing the subroutine send byte here we will first uh, initiate the start condition and then we will shift out the byte one bit at a time uh, least significant bit first so here we are either shifting out a zero or we are shifting out a one after the least significant bit is shifted out the microcontroller will release the uh, DIO line so that the TM1637 can send the acknowledgement to uh, pulse and the microcontroller will generate the ninth clock uh, pulse for the acknowledgement and then once the acknowledgement is received the microcontroller will reclaim the DIO line and the transmission is ended by sending the end condition Back inside subroutine, TM1637 initialize, and after sending the command for the display brightness, next we send byte 44, which will put the TM1637 in single address mode. And then we call the subroutine to clear the display. Inside subroutine clear display, to access the first digit, first we need to send the address of that digit, in this case it's C0 and then we send the value to be displayed on that digit in this case it's zero zero which means the digit will be cleared we do the same for the second digit third digit and the fourth digit once we have initialized the TM1637 now we can display some data on the uh, four digit display so within the subroutine TM1637 display uh, we point to the first digit and then we send the hexy value 76 which will sketch the letter H on the first seven segment digit and on the second display we will sketch E and on the third we will sketch uh, the letter L and on the fourth digit we will sketch P after we display the word help next we apply a delay in milliseconds and then we clear the display and then we use this uh, loop here in order to display the numerals from 0 to 9 on the first digit of the display the seven segment values of the numerals from 0 to 9 are stored in flash memory via the directive byte and these are the numerals which are accessed by pointer Z next this uh, part of the code will display the numerals from 0 to 8 on digit uh, on the second digit of the display and this part of the code will display the numerals from 0 to 7 on the third digit 
And finally, this part of the code will display the numerals from 0 to 6 on the fourth digit. Next, we apply some delay, and then we clear the display, apply another delay, and then jump back and repeat the whole uh, displaying of uh, the data. In a future video, TM1637 will be programmed in assembly to display time and date from real-time clock DS3231. Thank you for watching.